Hello friends, welcome back and I am Farah Sheikh and in today's video we are going to look a real business scenario where how can you do the VLOOKUP with multiple sheets. So this is one of my friend he called me and he asked me that do I have any kind of a solution for him that how can he able to look the data with the multiple sheets. So let's quickly look how is the data and then start figuring it out how can we use the VLOOKUP or any lookup function and solve this problem. Now in this data set, we have a master sheet which has all the records and each region has been split into different sheets. Now you can see over here we have the south region and we have north region and the comments. So basically we need to pull this comments information all the way to the master sheet, respected to their orders. So we have different regions like north, south, east, west and we have the sheet names as well. But now if you identify the sheet names, those are like South, North region, East and West. So let me change the region to correct like North. And I'll be changing it to East and this will be West. So I'll be shortly explaining you why I did this kind of a change to the sheet name. So now we are going to extract the letter South from this column E. So let's go and say uh, find and find a text that has a space comma and find it in this region in the column comma and start number nothing so we can just close the parentheses enter so on the sixth position we have that space so we are just going to do minus one so it is just moving to the last letter of the south okay it's on the letter h now we are going to use another function that is called left and this is a text from the left extract five characters so that's the reason i have minus one so we got the region name that's perfect so let me copy this formula from here let me raise this up again going back and this time i'm going to say we look up the lookup value is the order comma and let's go and look in the west region and in the west region we are just going to select it from the order and let me expand the range till 20 because we don't know if we have some data in different sheets which is exceeding more than the range of 9 so let us make this absolute by pressing f4 comma and the column index number will be 3 comma an exact match false enter let's drill this down and we get that information awesome so we got it for the west region only we can do this by writing it into the if statement looking into all those sheet information but that would be not an appropriate solution we need that information to be really dynamic so that we can easily make the construction of the formula and it will look small and neat and tidy so let's go and look our formula over here we look up the west region we have the sheet name and then that range now somehow i need to get that west region to be called as south now we have constructed the formula before using the find function and left function so we can use that but how can we do it over here if i simply go and write like this let's say that is the construction of the formula ampersand and I'll put it in the quotes and that should join the string and let me debug and show it to you F9 that's working perfectly fine command Z and I'll press enter but still I'm getting a value error now I'm getting value error in on all the places earlier it was like west region and it was giving me the perfect results so thing is over here that we need to pass this entire string which is over here into an indirect function so that can convert it into a reference so this entire piece of formula which is over here need to be passed it into indirect so i'm just going to cut basically that is the range where we are looking at into the vlookup so i'll say indirect and paste comma now this one the style should be true close parentheses 
Enter. Cool. And now let us drill that information all the way down. Boom. So we got all the information being consolidated into one master sheet. So let's go and add some comments in the south region. Uh, yet to deliver. And let's go and check in the master sheet. That data has got updated over here. Super cool. Now remember if my sheets name were not matching with this region like let's say this was like west wst and when i'll go to the master sheet we are getting a reference error so just make sure that whenever you are having an error such kind of error reference error this could be a problem that your sheet name is not correctly been set so here we have the scenario with the south region so i just extracted that and applied an indirect formula which gave me the reference and we got the results. So this is how we do one VLOOKUP with multiple sheets. So I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So make sure that you like this video, share it and let me know in the comment section what are your business scenarios when you are trying to look up the data from the multiple sheets. I'd be very happy to hear on that part. And in fact, even you can use an XLOOKUP formula. So wherever the range is coming for that sheet, you can just simply replace it with the indirect and it will work absolutely fine. So I'll be seeing you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Happy learning. Bye.